In this video, we'll be looking into Warshall's algorithm and Floyd's algorithm. So starting with Warshall's algorithm, before moving on to Warshall's, we should understand what transitive closure is. So transitive closure of a directed graph with n vertices, this is the directed graph having four vertices. It can be defined as n cross n Boolean matrix T, which is equal to T of ij, in which the element in ith row and jth column is 1, if there exists a non-trivial path that is directed path of positive length from i to j or zero in other conditions which means so it's for this diagraph if i consider if i construct an adjacency matrix so if there exists a path i will put one and if there is if the path is not there then i'll put zero path should be direct path so a to b path is there so a to b i put one a to a path is there no a to a is not there a to C is not there, A to D is also not there. Coming to B, B to A, not there, B to B, not there, B to C, not there, B to D is there, so 1. For C, from C there are no out, uh, like, there are no outward paths, no, be it A, D, B or anything, so all 0 here. From D, from D it is there to A, yes, and from D there exists a path to C also, so 1 here. For B and C, D, it is 0. So this was about adjacency matrix. Now we'll look into the transitive closure. Transitive closure says that we should find non-trivial path. We should put one if there exists a non-trivial path. Non-trivial path means, see, from A to D, path is there, not there in adjacency matrix. But then if we go from A to B and B to D, there exists a path. So we can say, we can put one here. It is having directed path of positive length, no? So A to B, B to D. So I can put one here. Coming to A to B. A to B, I, it's there, A to A. So A, B, D, again back to A. So 1 here. So 1, 1, 1, 1. A can be reached to all the other uh, edges, okay? So that's what it means. So that's what it means for uh, about transitive closure. So looking at the rules here. So rules for changing 0 to 1. So from this adjacency matrix, we have to convert it into transitive closure. So in order to do that conversion, we'll be making use of Warshall's algorithm. Okay, so there are rules here. Uh, in order to change from 0 to 1, if the element r i j is 1, then we keep it 1 in r of k. Okay, so this is the first rule. If it is 0, then it has to be changed to 1 if uh, in r k, if and only if the element in its i row and column k and element in its uh, jth column and uh, row k are both 1s. So, we should check that um, in these two conditions, uh, it has to be uh, AND condition. Here, AND condition would be applied. Okay. AND operation should be done here. So, we'll understand this while looking at the algorithm. So, let's look, look at the application part. So, transitive closure can be used for integrating data flow and control flow dependencies as well as uh, for inheritance testing of object-oriented software. So in electrical uh, engineering, it is used for redundancy identification and test generation for digital circuits. So this was about applications part. Looking at the algorithm, so we have Warshall's A, 1 to N, 1 to N. So this is the adjacency matrix which we are taking. So this is the adjacency matrix taken as input. Our output should be the uh, transitive closure matrix. Okay. So starting from R0 is equal to A. So you are initializing the matrix, initial matrix to R0. Okay. Next, for K is equal to 1 to N, do. K value is the intermediate path which you are taking. I, I is for the row and J is for the column. So uh, you are um, starting it from 1 to N, 1 to N because N elements are present in the matrix. Okay. So this is the important step. So R of IJ is equal to R of IJ if direct path exists then that or R K minus 1 of I comma K and K minus 1 of K comma J. So among these two, this, this means that uh, suppose if I have to check for path from 1 to 2 via 3 that is 1 to 3 path should be there and 3 to 2 path should be there. I hope you have understood this step. So that's what this line uh, states. And finally, we are returning the matrix here, this, uh, the resultant matrix here. So talking about uh, of the analysis part, it is pretty evident there are three for loops here. So three summations, 
uh, innermost loop we start j is equal to 1 to n i is equal to 1 to n k is equal to 1 to n we solve this we get order of n cube so this was about the algorithm part of adjacency uh, of the washer's algorithm let's quickly solve a problem now so we'll have a better understanding when we solve the problem so here is the problem statement find the transitive closure for given diagraph using washer's algorithm so algorithm is given this is the diagraph uh, which is specified this is the diagram which is specified. Let's, uh, let's start solving it. So constructing adjacency matrix, I denote it as R0. Okay, I have 1, 2, 3 and 4 here. 1, 2, 3 and 4 here. So 1 to 2 path exists. So I put 1 here. 1 to 3 path is not there. 1 to 4 also path is not there. 2 to 1 path is not there, 2 to 2 path is not there, 2 to 3 path is not there, 2 to 4 path is there, I put 1 here. 3, there are no outgoing paths, so 0. 4 to 1 path is there, 4 to 2 path is not there, 4 to 3 path is there, 4 to 4 path is not there. So first step was to uh, write the adjacency matrix according to the algorithm which I have done. Second for k is equal to 1 to n, i is equal to 1 to n, j is equal to 1 to n. That means this was our step 1. In step 2, we have to take i is equal to 1, j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1. k is equal to 1 here says that we should pass pass through one vertex. In, uh, for the case of calculating uh, r i comma k part. Okay. So we'll, we'll understand this. So first i is equal to 1, j is equal to 1. That means we should take i first row and first column as uh, constant. We should write it as it is. First row and first column, write it as it is. And this was first part. First row, first column, we should write it as it is. And second point is, if r of ij is equal to 1, we need to retain it. So this is an important note. Okay, this is an important note. We need to retain R of um, R of ij if it is equal to 1. So let's move on to the next step. Step 1, step 2, let's draw. So I should re uh, reconstruct this particular matrix with first row and first column as constant. So I will get 1, 2, 3, 4 here. 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So I should write first row, first column as it is. So 0, 0, 0, 1. And on this side 0, 1, 0, 0. Whichever 1 is there, I should write it as it is. So 1 here. These two are empty. And here these three are empty. This is empty. 1 and this is empty. Now I should start filling values in this. Okay. Start filling the values here. In order to fill the values, uh, let's start with 2, comma 2. So I have from 2 to 2. I should find the path, does path exists or not from 2 to 2. To find that I should pass through 1, that is what they have told. So 2 to 1 and 1 to 2. 2 to 1 path exists. 2 to 1 path is not there. 1 to 2 path exists, yes. But 0 and 1 and operation I get 0 only. So I put 0 here. Next, 2 to 3. I have 2 to 1 and 1 to 3. So 2 to 1 path exists? No. 1 to 3 path exists? No. So this is 0 again. Coming to 3. So 3 to 2. So 3 to 1 I'll go and 1 to 2 I'll go. 3 to 1 path exists? No. And 1 to 2 path exists? Yes. But it is 0. And operation. Next 3 to 3. 3 to 1 path exists? No. And 1 to 3 path exists? No. So 0 and 0 is 0. Next, 3 to 4. So 3 to 1 path exists? No. And 1 to 4 path exists? No. 0 and 0 is 0. So I put 0 here. Next, coming to this last column. So that is 4 to 2. I have to find for 4 to 2 this part. So for that, 4 to 1 and 1 to 2. 4 to 1 path exists, yes. And 1 to 2 path exists, yes. So 1 and 1, 
वन आई गेट नेक्स्ट आई हैव फोर टू फोर सो फोर टू वन एंड वन टू फोर फोर टू वन पाथ एग्जिस्ट बट वन टू फोर पाथ इज नॉट देर सो आई गेट जीरो हियर सो आई एम डन विथ फाइंडिंग ऑल द वैल्यूज माई नेक्स्ट स्टेप स्टेप थ्री इज वंस आई एम डन विथ दिस आई शुड इंक्रीमेंट द वैल्यूज आई इज इक्वल टू टू जे इज इक्वल टू टू के इज इक्वल टू टू दैट इज आई शुड पास थ्रू वर्टेक्स टू ओके दैट्स वॉट इट मीन्स सो सेकेंड वर्टेक्स शुड बी सेकेंड रो सेकेंड कॉलम शुड बी केप्ट एज कॉन्स्टेंट सो दिस एंड दिस should be kept as constant for the next iteration so i get r2 as i can write r2 as 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 four here i'll write second row second column as it is 1 0 0 1 and here 0 0 0 1 writing all the ones as it is so here i have 1 1 1 no so here i'll write 1 And one here. This is unknown. This is unknown. This is unknown. This is unknown. This, this, this. I should find for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven values I should find now. So let's quickly start finding the values. One to one. Finding for one to one, I should go from one to two and two to one. One to two. One to two path exists. Yes. And two to one path exists. No. So it is zero. So I put zero here. Next. One to three. One to two and two to three. One to two path exists. Yes. And two to three path exists. No. So it is zero here. Next. One to four. One to two and two to four. One to two path exists. Oh. One to two path exists. Yes. And two to four path exists. Yes. So it is one here. So I can write one here. Two to four path exists. No. Yes. Next, I have three to one. Three to two and two to one. Three to two path exists. No. And two to one path exists. No. So zero the here. Three to three. That is three to two and two to three. Three to two is not there and two to three is also not there. So zero. Next. Three to four. Three to two and two to four. Three to two is not there, and two to four is there. It is zero. Next, four to four. Four to two and two to four. Four to two path not there, but two to four is there. But it is zero only. So I am done with my R two uh, passing. Now let me write the next step. Step four, that is i value I should increment, j value I should increment, and k value also I should increment. That is I should pass through vertex three. So let me write R three here, keeping the third row and third column as constant. Third row and third column I should keep it as constant, and I should write R of i j wherever it is one. I should write it one as it is. So let me write the next. So zero, 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 and one here. And uh, coming to this side, I have zero, zero, and zero. And wherever I have one, I should write it as it is. So I have written one, one here. Next uh, here also one is there. So I should find for. I should find for here. Here, 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 here. These five values I should find. So let's quickly start finding one to one, one to one. That is one to three and three to one. So one to three does not exist and three to one uh, does not exist. So I get zero. Next, two to one. So two to one does not exist. Two to three does not exist and uh, one to three also does not exist. Sorry, three to one also does not exist. So it is zero. Next two to two. So two to three and uh, three to two. Two to three is also not there, and three to two is also not there. So zero. Next uh, we have two to four. 
so for 2 to 4 so here it is 1 only previously we have written 1 here no? so 1 next coming to 4 to 4 so writing for 4 to 4 um, we have 4 to 3 and 3 to 4 so finding 4 to 3 exists yes but 3 to 4 does not exist so 0 so here 0 I have got here if we look at this part 4 to 2 4 to 2 there exists a path so here it is 1 and 2 to 4 also path is there so here it is 1 okay sorry here also it is 1 here also it is 1 so I am done with finding all the unknown values here my next step step 5 is to increment i is equal to 4 j is equal to 4 k is equal to 4 that is i should pass through vertex 4 so let me write uh, r4 values here again so i have r4 as i should keep the fourth row and fourth column as constant okay so let me write 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 writing 1 1 0 1 here 1 1 1 and all the 1 values I should fill so 1 here this is unknown this is unknown here 1 2 3 3 values are unknown here 1 2 3 3 values are unknown let me quickly find values for these uh, unknown places so 1 to 1 if I see 1 to 4 I should go and 4 to 1 I should go 1 to 4 is 1 and 4 to 1 is 1 so it is 1 so here I get 1 next 1 to 3 so 1 to 4 and 4 to 3 so 1 to 4 exists and 4 to 3 also exists 1 so I get 1 here so I am done with the first row next I have 2 to 1 so 2 to 4 and 4 to 1 so 2 to 4 exists and 4 to 1 also exists so I put 1 here for 2 to 2 also 2 to 4 and 4 to 2 so 1 and 1 I get 1 here so next we have 2 to 3 so for that 2 to 4 and 4 to 3 2 to 4 exists and 4 to 3 also exists so I get 1 here next I have 3 to 1 so 3 to 4 and 4 to 1 4 to 1 exists but 3 to 4 is not there so 0 and 1 is 0 for 3 to 2 again 3 to 4 and 4 to 2 this is again same 0 and 1 is 0 and for 3 to 3 also 3 to 4 and 4 to 3 4 to 3 exists but 3 to 4 does not exist so it is 0 so if asked in exams this is how you should solve so we are done with finding the value my next step uh, here n value was 4 I started with 1 so I have reached the maximum um, iterations right so I have reached the end of our um, iterations so we have we have finally reached the solution part this r4 can be written as the matrix for transitive closure so this is how uh, we solve a Washel's algorithm question finding transitive closure uh, if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments next we'll look into the Floyd's algorithm part so looking at the algorithm here so Floyd's algorithm also called as Floyd's Washel's algorithm is a dynamic programming method used to solve APSP APSP is all pair shortest path problem so it computes the shortest path between all pairs of vertices in a weighted graph previously we used directed graph which did not have any weights but then here we'll be using weighted graph so the algorithm works for both directed graph and undirected graph provided that there are no negative weight cycles so the weights from moving uh, from one vertex to another vertex should have some positive weight if not uh, it will lead to undefined path okay so all pair shortest path prob uh, problem is significant due to its application in the field of communication, transportation, networks and operations research. So this was about the intro part. Let's quickly look into the algorithm. 
so we have w of 1 to n and 1 to n that is i and j we are taking a weighted matrix w of graph and then our output is to calculate the distance matrix of shortest paths okay all the shortest paths okay so initially we'll take uh, d distance matrix to be equal to w okay then we take k i j you understand this i j for row and column k for the intermediate node then d of i j is equal to minimum of d of i j comma d of i k plus d of k and j that is this is the direct path if um, we should find the minimum if direct path value is 10 and indirect path via k that is the intermediate path is 50 then out of these two i should select the minimum one and equate it to d of ij that particular position so that's what the statement uh, this line uh, refers then we are returning the distance matrix as output so this was about the algorithm part let's quickly look into the problem to understand this better so we are given with a directed graph here let's quickly write uh, the we have to find the cost matrix for this so our first step is to find the cost matrix for given graph so in this let's consider uh, let's construct the first matrix so i take r0 is a b c and d and on this side i have a b c and d so if there exists a path with a certain weight that is a to b one thing here um, we do not consider any diagonal values here so one thing to note do not consider any diagonal values that is they are equated to zero only uh, if you understand the logic behind not considering diag diagonal points is if i start from a and have to reach a as the final destination I need not iterate or traverse only, you know, I can just be at A itself. So, all the diagonal values put it as 0. Next, A to B exists? No. If the if there is no path existing, then put infinity there. A to C exists, that is 3 I have. And A to D, not there. B to A, B to A, 2 I have. B to C, not there. And B to D is also not there. C to A, not there. C to B is 7 then c to d i have one next d to a d to a six is there and d to b not there d to c is also not there so this is the first step which i have uh, done my second step is to consider shortest path through vertex a same steps how we have done in washels. So I value I am taking it as 1, J value I am taking it as 1 and K value also I am taking it as 1. Here K value 1 means that is A. Okay. So I should keep this, this part as it is. I should write it as it is. So I have R1 as so A, B, C and D. A, B, C, and D. So, 0, infinity, 3, infinity, 0, 2, infinity, 6. Writing all the 0 values, adjacent values as zeros only. I should find for these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 values I should find. So, let me start from um, B to C. In order to find from B to C, I should write it as minimum of, if B to C directly exists, B to C directly exists? No. So I should put infinity. Next, B to A and A to C. B to A plus A to C. So B to A. What is B to A? Um, B to A is 2 plus A to C. A to C is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. So infinity comma 5. Among this, which one has the minimum value? 5 has the minimum value. So I can write 5 here coming to b to d minimum of b to d directly exists no infinity now b to a b to a is 2 2 plus a to d a to d is infinity 2 plus infinity so i get infinity only next i have c to b so minimum of c to b directly exists yes 7 is there now c to a c to a is infinity 
and a to c a to c is 3 infinity plus 3 so i get infinity only here sorry 7 comma infinity so i get 7 here Next I have C to D, so it should take minimum of C to D directly exists, yes 1 is there and on this side C to A, C to A is infinity plus A to C, sorry A to D, infinity, infinity plus infinity is infinity, minimum of 1 comma infinity is 1, so I can write 1 here. Next I have uh, D to B, so I can write minimum of D to B d to b it's not there now d to a d to a is 6 plus uh, a to b a to b is infinity so infinity plus infinity is infinity only next i have for uh, d to c minimum of d to c direct it is not there d to a d to a is 6 and uh, a to c a to c is 3 6 plus 3 9 Minimum of infinity and 9, I get 9. So I can write 9 here. So this was about the first step. My second step, I should increment the values. My third step, that is i value I should increment, j value I should increment, and k value I should increment. I should pass through vertex B. So let me write the vertex, uh, let me write the matrix here. So R2 is equal to A, B, C and D and on this side A, B, C and D. Let me uh, keep B, B as constant. So I get infinity 0, 7, infinity and here 2, 0, 5, infinity. Writing all the diagonal values as zeros, I should find these unknown values so let's quickly start uh, from a to c so a to c if you see from a to c you should find minimum a to c directly exists a to c 3 is there and uh, a to b and b to c a to b infinity and b to c 5 infinity plus 5 is infinity only so i get 3 here next i have a to d so for a to d minimum of a to d direct it is there no infinity uh, a to b a to b is infinity and b to d b to d is also again infinity so this is infinity only next i have c to a c to a if i write minimum of c to a direct it is not there but c to b and b to a c to b is 7 and b to a is 2 that is uh, 7 plus 2 I have 9 so I write 9 here next C to D so minimum of C to D I have a direct 1 or I have 7 plus infinity that is 1 only I write next I have D to A so minimum of D to A 6 is there and uh, D to B infinity plus B to A is 6 only minimum is 6 next I have D to C so minimum of D to C 9 I have and D to B is infinity plus B to C 5 I have 9 so I am done with my second step also my uh, third step my next iteration I should increment I value to be 3 J value to be 3 and pass through vertex C. Passing through vertex C means that I am taking K value as 3. That is understood. So I should keep C and C as constant. So let me write R3 here. I will have C, D, A, B, C and D. I will write 3, 5, 0 9 and on this side I have 9 7 0 1 writing all the diagonal values as zeros 
so I should find these unknown values so starting from a to b a to b minimum of a to b direct exists no comma a to c plus c to b a to c is 3 and c to b c to b is 7 3 plus 7 I have 7 8 9 10 so I have 10 here I can write 10 here next I have a to d so minimum of a to d direct does not exist but a to c a to c is 3 plus c to d c to d is 1 3 plus 1 is 4 so I can write 4 here next I have c to a sorry b to a so minimum of b to a b to a I have 2 here and uh, b to c b to c is 5 plus c to a c to a is 9 so minimum of 2 or 16 here 2 no so I can write 2 here next b to d so minimum of b to d directly exists no b to c and c to d no it's not there so infinity plus uh, infinity sorry b to d b to d is infinity um, b to c b to c is 5 and uh, c to d c to d is 1 5 plus 1 6 sorry 6 is there here b to d is 6 here next i have for d to a so minimum of d to a directly exists 6 comma d to c d to c is 9 plus uh, c to a c to a is 9 9 or 18 6 or 18 so 6 is minimum no? so i can write 6 here next i have d to b so minimum of d to b directly exists no so i should take d to c d to c is 9 plus c to b c to b is 7 9 plus 7 i get 16 so infinity and 16 i get 16 so i am done with my step 4 next i have to increment i values j value and k value that is i should pass through vertex d so for that i should keep i value as 4 j value as 4 is constant so let me write it here r4 values can be written as a b c and d here and on this side i have a b c and d so i have to fill values for uh, all these so let me quickly write the 4 6 1 0 and on this side i have 6 16 9 and 0 putting the diagonals as zeros so i should find for six places here let's quickly start from a to b so a to b direct i have 10 or i should if i go through d a to d a to d is 4 plus d to a d to a is 6 so 10 comma 10 i get 10 itself next i have a to c so minimum of a to c is 3 comma a to d a to uh, a to d that is 4 plus d to uh, d to c that is 4 plus 9 so i get minimum is 3 only so i have written 3 here so i am done with the first row second b to a so i write minimum of b to a i have 2 directly b to d is 6 plus something 6 plus or uh, d to a 6 plus 6 so i get 2 only as minimum next i have b to c b to c is minimum of b to c direct exists 5 or b to d is 6 plus if i see 6 here then i can clearly say that minimum value is 5 only so i need not look into the other part so i am done with my second row also c c to a i have minimum of for c to a minimum I, here i have 9 comma c to d that is 1 plus um, d to a d to a is 6 
so 9 comma 7 I have 7 so I write 7 here next I have C to B so minimum of C to B directly exists 7 comma C to D 1 plus D to B 16 7 or 17 I get 7 only so I am done with uh, iterating or uh, finding values for R4 now if I see I started with I is equal to 1 I j and k is equal to 1 and reached till n that is 4 so i have iterated uh, properly and at the end i have found the uh, i found the shortest path distance matrix here so r4 is the solution r4 is the distance matrix of shortest path path lengths so this was about floyd's algorithm uh, you have to be very careful while solving uh, floyd's and washels uh, in exam you won't have sufficient time so one tiny mistake of calculation can mess up the entire thing so i would say i would suggest you to re-watch this video two three times if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you